so here in this question also we are given a symmetric charge distribution so at the center we have a sphere and surrounding it we have a region where the charge density is varying as alpha by r now it's only in the surrounding region so don't think that this charge density exists inside the sphere also so we need to find the ball's charge at which the magnitude of electric field is independent of distance so let's take a point p at a distance x so what we are going to do is we'll find the electric field here that will come as a function of x and then we will see to if we can make it independent of x so we'll put a value of q1 something that the electric field at p becomes independent of x so we wish to find ep first so we find charge enclosed and then use gauss law because the distribution is symmetric charge enclosed is q1 plus q2 q1 is due to the sphere and q2 is due to the region so q1 we need to find actually see find the ball's charge so just leave it let's find q2 so q2 is the charge in this region from capital r to x so in between region we need to find the total charge so we'll take a spherical shell and we'll find the small charge dq on that and then integrate it from capital r to x so q2 is equal to integral dq2 this integral so dq2 is because of the shell so it will be rho into 4 pi r square dr and rho is given as alpha by r so integrate it from r to x and this is our q2 so now the charge inside is this inside this surface so we'll use gauss law to calculate the electric field on this surface so e into 4 pi x square is equal to q1 plus q2 by epsilon or e is equal to this x square term will go down so if you put the values of q2 here and if you take q x square inside you will get this and by taking this 2 pi alpha outside you will get it like this so it's just a simplification so you got eventually electric field as constant plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon times q1 minus 2 pi alpha r square by x square so as expected the field at p does depend on x we need to find the value of q1 such that it becomes independent of x so you can see why when that will happen if the numerator becomes zero then this electric field is independent of x so q1 is equal to 2 pi alpha r square in that case our condition is satisfied and the value of electric field will then be constant and its value should be alpha by 2 epsilon now in this question it's good to visualize also how this constant radial electric field will look like so it's going to look like this so constantly new lines will appear in the region because don't forget there is charge in the region it's not a vacuum we have inside charge here and in the region outside also there is a charge so this is how it's going to look like distance between any two lines is going to be same everywhere so very special case see in, in sheet we have seen the uniform uh, the uniform electric field but that was linear here we have radial uniform electric field so good question